All right, in statistics today, we're looking at geometric distribution and Poisson distribution, section 4.3. The geometric distribution is pretty much this right here. You do something over and over and over till you have a success. Like for instance here, you might have to send an email several times before it's successfully sent. Or say you're shooting free throws and you keep shooting until you hit one. Okay, that's a geometric distribution. And here's the basics of it right here. A trial is repeated until a success occurs. Number two, the repeated trials are independent of each other, which the first one doesn't affect the second one, and that doesn't affect the third one, and so forth. Number three, the probability of success, P, is the same for each trial. The probability that, like if I'm flipping a coin and I'm wanting a head, and I keep getting tails, 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 the probability is the same every time until I get that head. Number four, the random variable X represents the number of, tri the, number of the trial in which the first success occurs. So X, X right here, oops, is the number trial that it, you finally have a success, okay? And so uh, this is your probability right here. P of X equals P times Q, and Q is to the X minus one power. And Q is one minus P. In other words, if, if you uh, shoot 75% on free throws, then one minus that would be 25%. This is what you would your percent would be if you missed to miss a free throw. Okay, uh, here's an example down here. Okay, a study found that smartphones made by a certain manufacturer had a failure rate of 43%. Four smartphones made by this manufacturer are selected at random. Find the probability that the fourth smartphone is the first one to have a failure. All right, so here. X equals four, because it's the fourth one that has a failure, which in this in this problem, that's the success. Kind of <laughs> different, a failure is a success. So anyway, my P here is 43. That means one minus that is Q, which is 57, and of course X we said was four. And so we just put them in the formula, as we just mentioned here ago, and, and there you go, and you get 0 0.080. Okay, so the probability that the fourth smartphone is the first one to have a failure is 0 0.080. Okay, now uh, here's a Poisson distribution. All right, Poisson is, uh, let's come down here to the definition down here. It's a discrete probability distribution of a random variable X that satisfies these conditions. Uh, basically what this is, a Poisson distribution is like, suppose on average, average each day, uh, let's say you, you run three miles. Okay, then uh, what's the probability that you only run two miles? Or what's the probability that you run five miles one day? Okay, that's the, uh, the, the extent to this right here. And that may not be a very good example. Uh, we'll have one here in a second, but <clears throat> the, the uh, criteria here is the experiment consists of counting the number of times X an event occurs in a given interval. The interval can be an interval of time, area, or volume. The probability of the event occurring is the same for each interval. And number three, the number of occurrences in one interval is independent of the number of occurrences in the other intervals. And here's my formula for this, where mu is average. We've talked about that before. E now, E is what we call the natural base, which, uh, you can see right here, it's a uh, 2.71828, and it keep, and it goes on forever. It's like pi. It's an irrational number that just goes on and on forever. <clears throat> and then that's to the negative mu power, 
and then I have x factorial. So mu to the x power, where x is the uh, uh, the number of times this event occurs, whatever, and then e to the negative mu power divided by x to factorial. Remember, x factorial, like 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so here's an example of what I'm talking about on this. This might help it make sense. This is a Poisson distribution right here. The mean number of accidents per month at a certain intersection is 3. So in other words, this intersection has an average of three accidents per month. All right, well this says, what's well, probably that in any given month, four accidents take place. What's well, probably that four accidents take place? So that means X is four here. And of course, mu, the average is three. And so you just put those numbers in the formula here. So you have three to the fourth power. Then you have E here. We'll just put, well, we won't type this number in. We'll just type E in. E to the negative three power divided by four factorial and you get this right here. And that's the probability, so it's 0.168, which is a 16.8%. So you have a 16% chance that there'll be four accidents instead of three. Okay, so uh, we have three distributions here. We have the binomial distribution. Remember, we had that just a few days ago. Uh, the probability of exactly x successes in n trials is this right here, where p is the probability of success and q is 1 minus p. Then you have your mu, and you have your variance. This, this right here is your mean. This right here is your variance. And this right here is your standard deviation. Okay. So that's the binomial distribution. And then in today's lesson, we have this geometric distribution, the probability that the first success will occur on trial number X. And that's the, this formula right here, where Q is one minus P. And then we also had today the Poisson distribution, <clears throat> the probability that of exactly X occurrences in an interval is this right here, where E is the natural base and mu is the mean number of occurrences per interval unit. Okay, well, hey, let's do some problems here and, and uh, maybe uh, it'll make a little bit more sense, okay? So, uh, number one, assume the geometric distribution applies. Use the uh, given probability of success P to find the indicated probability. So we're doing a geometric distribution here, okay? And so right here, it looks like X is four. Okay, so what we're gonna have here, what's the probability of four? All right, it's gonna be P, which is 0 0.30, times Q, remember now, Q is one minus 0 0.30, which is 0 0.70. So this is 0 0.70 here. And since X is four, I do four minus one, which is three power. And I just punch this in. So let me get my calculator here. Okay. So I'm going to have, uh, let me get this over a little bit. Okay. So I have 0 0.30 times 0. Uh, 0 0.70 to the third power. And that comes up 0 0.1029, which I think you can see the answer right there. 0 0.1029. Okay. Here's another one. These are actually kind of easy once you get the hang of it, you know. Assume the geometric distribution applies. Use a given probability of success P to find the indicated probability. So here, P of 5 when P is uh, 0 0.90. So P of 5 equals, all right, it's going 0 0.90 times, and I do 1 minus 0 0.90, which is 0 0.10. And that's to the 5 minus 1 power, which is 4 power. Okay, then I just type that in. So let's get the calculator going here. All right, so I have a 0.9 times 0.1 to the fourth power, and it looks like 9 to the negative 5 power, which 9e negative 5 means I move my decimal from here back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places to here, which means these have to be zeros. 
and it looks like 0 .00009 and there it is right there we got it okay all right now number three here we're looking at a Poisson distribution with mu is six and the prop find the probability that x is three in other words something here we're not sure what this is but it happens on average it happens six times a day or six times a minute or six times a week or something How, what's the probability that it only has three times usually we do six what's the probability that we only do three okay so what's probably we do three all right so that's going to be six here to the three power now now uh, can you bring us where is that here it is we're going to do this formula right here. Okay, the Poisson distribution. So it's going to be 6 to the 3 power times e to the negative 6 power over 3 factorial. So that's how you set it up. We got our average to the x power, and then I got e to this negative 6 power, and then the 3 comes down here, 3 factorial. And so we just type that in. So I type that in. 6 to the 3 power, okay, times e to the uh, negative 6 power divided by 3 factorial, and it looks like 0 0.0892. And right there's an answer right there. So we're in good shape. Uh, here's another Poisson distribution. P is 6 and mu is 4. So on this one, what's the probability that we get 6? Usually we have 4. What's the probability that we do 6? All right, so it's going to be 6. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 4 to the 6 power times e to the negative 4 power over 6 factorial. Okay, your average, your mean to the x power, and then your e to the negative mean whatever that is power and then this uh, x to the factorial down there all right so punching this in four to the six power times e to the negative four power divided by six factorial is 0 0.104 0 0.104 we're in good shape Right there it is, okay. All right, look at these splits. All right, let's go to number five. Uh, we got another Poisson, okay. It says on here mu is 0 0.9 and x is three. All right, so the probability we get three is gonna be 0 0.9 to the three power times e to the negative 0 0.9 power divided by three factorial. Okay, hopefully you just have notes and, uh, you know, if you don't have it memorized, it's fine. You're just going to put, you know, hopefully this notes you have wrote down and you just put the numbers in where they go. And there it is. And then you just type it in. All right, so typing this in, I got 0 0.9 to the uh, 3 power times e to the uh, negative 0 0.9 power. Divide by 3 factorial. Okay, and it looks like 0 0.049. 049, and then 9 makes this 9 makes the 3 go up to 4, so 0 0.0494. We're in good shape. We got it. All right. Now, number 6. Number 6 says uh, describe the difference between the value. Difference between the value of x in binomial and geometric. Okay. Now, the difference is this. In binomial, x, that's how many times it happens. Uh, in other words, you do, you do something six times and x is you uh, having a success four times, four of the six. Okay, and geometric, in geometric, 
X represents the, the number time that you have your first success. That's your first success. Which means you've had failures all up before that. So now which one says that? Uh, well, I think it's D down here. In a binomial distribution, the value of X represents the number of successes in trials and in trials. While in a geometric distribution, the value of X represents the first trial. That's the key here on this. The first trial that is a success, that would be geometric. Geometric because you have it. You have failure, 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 until you finally have a success. So on this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, X would be seven in this case because the success happened on the seventh time. Okay, so the answer is D. All right, now here's a problem. All right, this, this, look, see what we have here. Okay, find the indicated probabilities using geometric, Poisson, or binomial. So we're not sure what we have here. We got to figure it out. Okay, so we're going to have to really think about this. Okay. All right, so de then determine if the events are unusual. If convenient, use the appropriate probability table or technology to find the probabilities. I think we won't need to do that. All right, so let's look at this. Assume that probably that you make a sale on any given telephone call is 0 0.23. So apparently you are trying to sell over the phone. And this is the probability that you make a sale. Find the probability that you make your first sale on the fifth call. Now here's the key. You make your first sale. That's geometric. This is geometric. So that means the probability that we make our first sale on the fifth call is going to be 0 0.23. Okay, might need to move this over a little bit. And then I do 1 minus that, which is 0 0.77, and that's to the 5 minus 1, which is 4 power. So there's what I type in. Okay, so let's see if we type that in here. All right. All right, this is uh, 0.23 times 0.77 to the fourth power, and I get right here 08085. The 5 makes 8 go up to 9, so 0 0.0809. Well, it actually said do it three places. Three places. So 08, this 8 makes the 0 go up to a 1, so 0 0.081. And uh, we're in good shape, that's what it is. Okay, now let me get a piece of paper here because I think we'll have to have, here's, what we're, here's what's going to be hitting us, this is like part B here. What's the probability you make your sale on the first, second, or third call? All right, now we're going to have to write these out. So what's the probability you do it on the first one, the probability you do it on the second one, or the probability you do it on the third? So we have to write these out and uh, type them in. Okay, so on the first, all right, your probability that you do it is 0 0.23, and probably you don't is 0 0.77. I do 1 minus that, and I do 1 minus 1, which would be 0 power. Okay, then here I have 0 0.23, 0 0.77, and then I got 2 minus 1, which is 1 power. And then right here I got 0 0.23, 0 0.77, and I got 3 minus 1, which is 2 power. And so I type these in, okay? Now I'm going to show you a shortcut on this here this time, okay? So uh, let me type this in. 0 0.23 times 0 0.77 to the 0 power. Uh-oh, I made a mistake here. Oh, I had, uh, okay. 0 0.23 times 0 0.77 to the zero power. And this way I get 0 0.23. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is, all that's changed in this next one is I change that zero to a one. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go back into my equation right there, hit enter, and I'm just gonna go to that zero right there and I'm gonna just type a one over it. And there it is, 1771, so 0 0.1771. 
okay? And then I'm gonna do the same thing here because all that's different is I change this one to a two. So I'm gonna go back into my equation there and I'm gonna change that one to a two. And there you go, man, 0 0.136, 367. 0 0.136367. All right, so I add these up. Okay, I didn't line them up very good to be able to uh, add them. Uh, so I'll just type them in the calculator. 0 0.23 plus 0 0.1771 plus 0 0.136367. And I get this right here. 0 0.543467. Okay, and it says round three places, so I'm gonna keep these. The four makes three stay, so 0.543. Okay, and look here, baby, we're right. We're right. We're right. I like being correct. Now, part C here. What's probably that you do not make a sale on the first three calls? Okay, well, here's the probably that you make your sale on the first, second, or third call. What's probably you don't make your sale? All right, I'll do one minus that. One minus 0 0.543, which is gonna be 0 0.457. And look here, we're in good shape. Now, which of these events are unusual? Well, let's look at these probabilities up here. Which one's unusual? Now remember, to be unusual, it's gotta be less than 0 0.05. And uh, well, none of these are, so none of them are unusual. Okay. All right, number eight. All right, this reads the same up here. Now, th this is what's different. The mean number of births per minute in a country in a recent year was about four. That's how many births per minute. Find the probability that the number of births in any given minute is exactly six. All right, now this is Poisson. Okay, usually there's four births per minute. What's the probability that we have six? This is what's average. What's the probability that we do six? All right, so we're right here. Probability that we have six births. Okay. The average is four, so it's going to be four to the sixth power times e to the negative four power divided by, and that's six to the factorial down here. That's how you type it in. All right, so let me do it here. Okay. Uh, Move this over just a hair. And uh, let's see here, 4 to the 6th power, get out of the exponent. Then I have e to the negative 4 power. Okay, then we'll divide by 6 factorial. Okay, 0 0.1041, it says round 4 places. So this 9 makes the 1 go up to 2, 0 0.1042. Look here, we're perfect. Okay. Now here's where it gets not really uh, difficult, but a little bit uh, more involved or in depth. This is what's probably that you have at least six. Okay, you get a piece of paper in here. At least six means six or more, which is six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and it goes on and on forever. Okay, you can't write all them down and add them all, it's too many. So what you do here is, let's get six and below. Okay, so let's do zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. It is probably, you can, there is a probability that you have zero births. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do each one of these, <clears throat> and then we're gonna uh, add them all together. So let's, so let's do zero here. So like, again, this is gonna be four to the zero power times e to the negative four power and it's going to be, uh, I'm going to put divided by 
zero factorial. Okay, instead of writing it like instead of writing it like this. That way I've got one for each line here. Do you can see them all? Okay, that's what that one's gonna be. Alright. Now this is gonna be four to the one power times e to the negative four power divided by that's gonna be one factorial. This one's going to be 4 to the 2 power times e to the negative 4 power divided by 2 factorial. And so you can see how it looks. Now I do recommend writing these down because if you don't and you try, try just changing them in the calculator. Oh, I made, I made a mistake here right now. I didn't change it to a 3. This is going to be 4 to the 4th power times e to the negative 4 and this is going to be divided by 4 factorial. This is 4 to the 5th power times e to the negative 4 power divided by 5 factorial. And this is going to be 4 to the 6th power times e to the negative 4 divided by 6 factorial. And so there they are. You, you write them down and then type them in, in, in uh, individually. So, okay. Let's do this first one here. So we got 4. Oh, I should have left that on there. Let me go back in this. And I got this extra four here. Let's delete it. Okay. So I got four to the zero power. So I'm going to change this six right here to a zero. And then I'm going to change this six here to a zero. And there you go. 0 0.0813. 0 0.0183. I'm not sure if it says round four places. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and I'm going to change these zeros right here to ones. That's all that's different from the first one here and the second one. These zeros are ones now. So I'm going to go back into my equation and I'm going to change those zeros to ones. And look at there, man. 07326. 0 0.0732. Six. Okay. Then we'll do this one here, and we'll change my ones to twos. So if you have a calculator, that does this great. If you don't, I would recommend going and buying one. All right. Here's what that one is: point zero one four six five one one four. Oh no, 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 no. There's no zero there. One four. Six five. Dang it! One four six five two. Okay. Right here, I'm gonna change my twos to threes. All right, so I'm gonna go back into this equation. That should be a three now. That should be a three, and we got point one nine five three six. Five, three, six, seven. Okay, I'm gonna go in here this time and change my threes to fours. Point one nine five three. That's the same number. How about that? Now I'm gonna go change my fours to fives. That's point one five six two nine, and the last one I'm gonna change my fives to sixes. Point one oh four one. Point one oh four one nine six. Okay, I'm just writing these out, and we're gonna add these up now. So I'm going to add all these up. Okay, so I'll put them over here so we can see it all on the screen. 0 0.01832 plus 0 0.07326 plus 0 0.14652 plus 0 0.195367 plus 
367 again plus 0.15629 plus 0.104196 and there's a get 0.88932 All right, so as we said now, that's that's if you uh, have zero births up to six births. All right, remember we want we want uh, uh, at least six, didn't we? It says at least six, which means six or more. So this six, we didn't need to put it on there. So let's take that one off. All right, so that should be 0.78524. Okay, taking that one off. Because it's we want to do at least six, which is six or more. So we got to take off the first five. So now I'm going to do one minus this value right here. And that should give me the probability of doing six or more. So take off all five of these, add them up, and then do one minus that. And we're going to do one minus that. Two, one, four nine i think it's is it ran in two places or four places yep 0. 0.2149 that's my percent okay now c says more than six okay well, hey more than six means i can go ahead and go back to that number i had 0. 0.88932 this was the first six. See, I accidentally added that one a while ago, but I didn't need to, but now I do. And so now I'll do one minus that for part C, which is going to be 0.11, I'm sorry, yeah, 0.11068. Okay, zero six eight, which is going to be 0.11078. Look at that, we got it. 0.1107. Okay. Now, which of these events are unusual? All right, remember now, unusual, you've got to be less than 0 0.05. None of these are, so none of these events are unusual. Okay, number nine now. All right, uh, a newspaper finds that the mean number of typographical errors per page is eight. Find the probability that exactly four typographical errors are found on a page. All right, this is Poisson again. Because on average, this is my mood right here, usually we have eight typographical errors. What's the probability that we have four? So X is four here. Okay, so X equals four. Mu was eight. Okay, so I set it up like this what's probably we have four it's going to be eight to the four times e to the negative eight divided by four factorial that's how i set it up so let's just put the numbers in and type it out it's, that's all we got to do here so let's we'll put it over here and, and do it eight to the four power times e to the negative eight power then divide by four factorial. That's 0 0.05725. This is round four places, so 0 0.0573. Okay, hey, look there, we got it, and we're in good shape. Okay, now part B says. Probably that at most four typographical errors are found on a page. At most four, which means you can have four or less there. So when it says at most four, that means four or less. That means I need to do zero, one, two, three, four. I need to do all these right here find their probabilities, and then add them together, and that would be the answer for this. Because it says at most four typographical errors, which means zero through four, four or less. Okay, 
So I do recommend writing this out so you don't get things mixed up. All right, so the mean is average. Uh, uh, the mean is 8. So this is going to be 8 to the 0 power times e to the negative 8. And that's going to be divided by 0 factorial. This is going to be 8 to the 1 power times e to the negative 8 divided by 1 factorial. This is going to be 8 to the 2 power times e to the negative 8 divided by 2 factorial. 8 to the 3 power times e to the negative 8 divided by 3 factorial. And then the last one, I got 8 to the 4 power times e to the negative 8 power divided by 4 factorial. All right, so there they are, wrote all out. Okay, now we're gonna punch them in individually, so. Uh, okay, I don't know if my calculator can be seen very good there. I'll just do this, and I'll move it every time. Okay, so. All right, so uh, I, got, I got this on the screen already, so I'm gonna do, uh, change my fours to zeros here. I already got four, so that one I've already done, so I'm gonna go ahead and write it down, 0 0.0573. We already did that one. Now let's change those fours to zeros, so that should be a zero. That should be a zero. And there we go now. See, this says e to the negative four, which means I gotta move it back one, two, three, four, which means three zeros. 0 0.000335. Okay, now I go up there and change my zero to one. Change my zero to one. So that'd be a one. That'd be a one. And there you go, 0 0.00268. Okay, you wouldn't round them here. You wait till you get your answer and then round it. Now here I'm gonna change my ones to twos. Okay, this one to two and that one to a two. So I'll just uh, two and a two. That comes up to uh, zero. I didn't put my equals in here, did I? Zero point zero one zero seven three four. And now I'm going to change my twos to threes. And there you go. Zero point two, zero point zero two eight six two six. All right. Now I add those up. Okay. So we have point zero 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 three three five plus point zero zero two six eight plus point zero one zero seven three four plus point zero two eight six two six two six plus point zero Five seven three and here we go, zero point zero nine nine six seven five, and it says round four places, so the seven makes the six go up to eight, so zero point zero nine nine seven, and uh, well, this didn't round right here. 996. I might have typed something wrong, but I'm right there on it. And I think if you're off one like that, it'll probably give it to you. And then uh, this one says more than four typographical errors are found on the page. Okay. More than four, which means five or more. Okay. Well, here you go. This is at most four. So this is zero, one, two, three, and four. We want five or more. So basically, I'm going to do one minus this, which is 0 0.9003, which if I had a six there, then that would have been four. And that's what the answer is. Now, which of these are unusual? Well, 
uh, none of them are unusual because remember it's got to be less than 0 0.05 now that's 0 0.05 but it's greater than 0 0.05 so we wouldn't consider that unusual so none of these are unusual okay that would be number 10 Number 10, a football player completes a pass 69.3% of the time. Find the probability that the first pass he completes is the second pass. All right, here you go. The first success is the second one. So this is geometric. All right, so uh, X is 2 for the second pass. So we want probability of 2 which is going to be 0 0.693, which is that number right there. That's his success percent. And I do 1 minus that, which is 0 0.307. And I do that to the 2 minus 1 power, which is 1. I take this number minus 1, and that's what goes there. So let's see if I punch this in real quick. 693. That comes up to... Uh, 0.212751 and it says round three places so 0.213 look here we're on it man okay B says the first pass he completes is the first or the second pass okay all right well here's the second one now we need to figure out the first we need a probability of one 0 0.63693 times 0 0.307. Here, let me, let me do this over and over. Okay. So uh, the probability that he does on the first one is going to be 0 0.693 times 0 0.307 to the 1 minus 1, which is 0 power. So that's going to be 0 0.693. And this is probability 1. Probability 2, as we said a minute ago, is 0 0.213. So just add these together. 6, 10, 1, 8. So 0 0.806. Okay, hold on here. Okay, it's nine, yeah. I didn't carry my one. Nine oh six. And that's right. I added them in my head. I need to just use the calculator, don't I? It's point nine oh six. We're right. Now, what does this say here? What's well, probably he does not complete his first two passes. All right, now look here. This was zero point nine oh six we just did. Okay? That's him completing this pass his first pass on his first or second. What if he does not do that? It's going to be 1 minus this, so it's 1 minus 0 0.906, which is 0 0.094. And that's what we got right here. Okay. Now, which of these are unusual? Okay, this is 0 0.212, 0 0.906, 0 0.094. None of them are. None of them are less than 0 0.5. Okay. Number 11. Alright, a glass manufacturer finds that one in every 250 glasses, glass items produced is warped. One in every 250 is warped. Find the probability that the first warped glass item is the 10th. Alright, we're looking at the first success here, which is being warped. Alright, this is geometric. This is geometric. Okay. So we want the first one to be the tenth one. So we want to do the probability of 10. Okay, so my success of being warped here is 1 over 250. All right, so if I do 1 minus that, I'll get 249 over 250. And I'm going to do that to the 10 minus 1, which is the 9 power. Okay, let's see here. So I'm going to have 1 divided by 250 
times, I need to put this in parentheses, 249 divided by 250 to the 9 power. And there you go, 0 0.0385 it says on here, around three places. So 0 0.004. Look there, we got it, man. Okay, part B says, the first warped item is the first, the second, or the third. All right, so we're going to have this warped item, the first one, the second one, or the third one, which means i got to do probability of one, probability of two, probability of three, and i got to add them together. Okay. So probability of one, we just, uh, let's see here. We just did the tenth one, so. Let's, we'll write this out. All right, so my success is 1 over 250. Then I have 249 over 250, which is 1 minus that, to the 1 minus 1 power, which is 0 power. Then here I'm going to have 1 over 250, 249 over 250, to the 2 minus 1, which is 1 power. Then I'll have 1 over 250, 249 over 250, 3 minus 1 would be 2 power. And then I add those up. Alright, so let's see here. 1 divided by 250 times, this needs to be in parentheses, 249 over 250 to the 0 power. And there you go, 0 0.004. Okay. Now, all I'm going to do here, everything is the same except for this exponent. I'm going to change my 0 to a 1. So I'm going to go back in there, change it to a 1, and there you go. 0 0.004. I'll go ahead and run it three places. This one, I just changed my 1 to a 2. So let's go back in here, change my 1 to a 2. 0 0.004. If I add these up, 0 0.012, and look there, we got it, okay? Now, part C says, probably that none of the first 10 glass items produced are defective. So, that means what if our defective one's the 11th, or the 12th, or the 13th, or on and on and on and on. So what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to add up the whole first 10. All right, so so probability of 1, probability of 2, probability of 3, probability of 4, probability of 5, probability of 6, 7, 8, 9, I'm sure it goes off the screen here in a little bit, but there's all of them. We're going to do all these. Okay. Now, the first three we've already done. So, these here, we've already done them. That's going to be uh, 0 0.012. And so, we just need to do 4 through 10 the rest of the way. And so, uh, I still have this on my calculator. Remember now, the only thing that changes on this if you look at what I did here, the only thing that changes is this exponent at the end. Okay, so if it's a 3, I do 3 minus 1, which is 2. All right, so 4, I'm going to do 4 minus 1, which is 3. So I'm going to go back, change it to a 3. And that's going to be 0 0.004, looks like. And then go back and change it to 5 minus 1 which is 4. That's 0 0.004 again. All right, so the video cut off on me. But as I was doing this, I went ahead and I was doing the problem. Didn't realize it cut off. And so here's all these probabilities. I add them all up. And I get 961. Okay. 0.961. Now, it's asking which one of these are, are 
are unusual, and we've got two of them here. See, this one is below 0 0.05, and this one's below 0 0.05, so both of these are unusual. All right. Now, the last problem, okay, this is 43% of adults say that they've cheated on a test or exam before. You randomly select seven adults. Find the probability that the number of adults who say they have cheated on a test or exam before is exactly four. All right, so what we have here, this is binomial. All right, so this is the first binomial we've had on this today. All right, so we want the probability that there's four people that have cheated on a test, four of the seven. So this is gonna be seven C four and then my success percent is 43, so it's going to be 0.43 to the 4 power. And then 1 minus 0 0.43 is 0 0.57, and that's going to be 7 minus 4, that'd be 3 power. Okay, and then I punch that in, so let's do that. Okay, here we go. All right, so I have uh, 7 in CR4. And then I got times 0.43 to the fourth power, and then times 0.57 to the third power. And here we go, 0.2215. The five makes the one go up to the two, so 0 0.222. And looks like we're in good shape. Okay, part B here. Says it's probably that more than two have cheated on this test. More than two. Okay, which means two. More than two. All right, so we're going to have three, four, five, six, or, and seven. So we need to find these probabilities and add them up. Okay, so uh, All right, so since this is 7C4, this is going to be 7C3, okay? Then we have 0.43 to the 3 power, which means I'll have 0.57 to the 7 minus 3, which is 4 power. All right, this will be 7C4, which is 0.43 to the 4 power. This, these numbers match. And then I have 0.57, and I'm going to have 7 minus 4, which is 3 power. All right, then I have 7C5, 0.43 to the 5 power, 0.57 to the 7 minus 5, which would be 2 power. This would be 7C6, 0.43 to the 6 power, and then 0.57, 7 minus 6 would be 1 power. And then 7C7, 0.43 to the 7 power, 0.57 to the 7 minus 7, which is 0 power. And I'll punch these in and get my answers. All right, so let's see here. Let's come over here. I still have it on the calculator, so I'm just going to go back in here. And basically, what I'm going to change now, I'm going to start at the top. I'm going to change this number, this number, and this number. That's the ones that's changed every time. The rest of these are all the same. So I'm going to go change this to a 4. And we'll go and change this to a 3. And we're going to change this right here to a 3. And that's 0.29. Let me write it out here. 0 0.293746. I don't know how many to write. It's probably best to write several and then round it down after your answer. All right, now I'm going to go back to that. And I'm going to change these three here. So this 4, I'm going to change it to a 3. This 3 here... We'll change it to a four, and this three here, I'm changing it to a four. And that's 0 0.221598. If you don't have a calculator that you can go back in there and change these numbers, it'd be worth your investment to get one. You can get one like this at Walmart for like $10, and it will do all this, and you can go back in there and change. It'd be better than punching it over and over and over. You can just go in there and change your numbers. So like here, I'm gonna change this three to a two. Change this to a five. 
and change that to 5. And that's going to be 0 0.100302. All right, then I'm going to go back in it and make this a 1. We'll make that a 6. We'll make this a 6. And that's a 0 0.025222. And then the last one here, I'm going to make this a zero, make this right here a seven, and I'm going to change this right here to a seven. That's point zero zero two seven one eight, and now I'll add them up. Okay, so adding them up. 0, 2, 5, 2, 2, 2, plus, I already had this one on the calculator, so I just hit plus that one, and then plus 0 0.100302, plus 0.221598, plus 0.293746, and I get this right here, 0 0.6435. And if I round it three places, the five makes the three go up to the four, so it's point six four four, which is what we got right there. So we're in good shape, good shape. Okay. Now the last one on here says probability at most five. Okay, at most five. All right, so that means Zero cheated, one, two, three, four, or five. So this is what I want to find the probabilities of. Okay, it says at most five, so zero to five. At most five. Okay, now let's look at my work here because I've got some of these already. See, five. We just did it a minute ago, 0 0.100302. 4 is 0 0.221598. 3 was 0 0.293746. We just did that on the previous problem. Okay, so I need to do 0, 1, and 2. Okay, now, I say you need to write these out, so let's... Uh, right here. We'll just do zero, one, and two. We'll write them on this. Okay. So on zero, this is going to be seven C zero, and then I have point four three to the zero, and then point five seven to the seven minus zero, which is seven. And this is going to be seven C one, point four three to the one, and point five seven to the seven minus one, which is six. And this is going to be seven C. 2, 0 0.43 to the 2 power, these are numbers match, and then 0 0.577 7 minus 2 is 5. And luckily I still have this on my calculator. Alright, so I'm gonna, basically I'm going to go in there and I'm going to change this number, this number, and this number. Just like I did previously. So I'm going to make this a 7. Well, let's see here. Okay. All right, I'm going to go back over and find my thing again. All right, here it is. I want this to be a seven. I want this to be a zero. And I want this to be a zero. Which is uh, right here. Let's write it on here. Zero point zero two. I'm sorry. Zero one nine five four eight. Okay. Now we're gonna do the one here. So I'm gonna go back in there. I'm gonna change this exponent to a six. I'm gonna change this exponent to a one. I'm going to change this over here to a 1, and there you go. That's going to be 0 0.103232. 
and then the last one is this one here. Okay, I'm gonna change that exponent to five, so let's get back in there. I'm gonna change this exponent to a two, and I'm gonna change this number here to a two, and there you go. And now we wanna add all them up. Okay, so. This one on there, so let's add to it 0 0.103232 plus 0 0.019548 plus 0.293746 plus 0.221598 plus 0 0.100302. And there's what I get right there, 0.972. Uh, the zero does not make the two go up. So 972 is what I got. And look here, buddy, we got it right on it. Okay. Now, which ones of these are unusual? Well, no, 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 none of them are. So none of them are. Okay. So we want to uh, remember this right here, our binomial distribution. This is the formula for that. The geometric distribution, which here's the formula there. The Poisson distribution, there's the formula for that. And uh, that's it for today, guys. So if you have any questions, please give me a holler. I'll help you all I can. Have a good rest of the day.